Yo, what is up, YouTube man? Today we are talking about the one-legged post hop shot, the Dirk Hop Jumper in NBA 2K23, an animation I rarely ever see anybody using, but it's very good, especially for bigs. I would say this is the second best one in the game, right after the Kevin Durant Hop Jumper. If you are a fan of just getting a little bit of space to take the mid-range, this is definitely for you. The animation doesn't make you try to jump out to the three-point line like the Kevin Durant animation tends to do. If you put on Space Creator as high as you can get it, if you get it on Hall of Fame with an 80 mid-range, I mean, that would be absolutely perfect, but you can still make it work with gold with a 70s mid-range as well. I got three gameplays for you guys today on my new stretch big build. In this video, I have an 81 mid-range. I get an 82 and 92 three-pointer on this build. And you're gonna see as a six foot 11 big man, it's not gonna be my body to, you know, dribble up like I'm a six foot one guard, but I'm able to create my space doing other things, playing my play style. And the Dirk Hop Jumper is going to come in handy to get me a few buckets you see right here. He starts playing a little bit higher since I did hit a couple shots. That gives me the free dunk. Overall, with this Dirk Hop Jumper, it's the second best one to use as a big man. It is going to give you a smooth animation every single time. I mean, check this out right here. It doesn't get you back the space that Kevin Durant uses. That's why I'll probably stick with the Kevin Durant for the most part. But if you're somebody that just likes to get a quick bucket, not trying to worry about if it's going to be a three, check it out right here off one leg. You see, he kind of tries to get a contest. It's a little bit, it's open, but that is not enough if you got the timing down i love all of dirk's animations in this game whether it's his hop jumper his post fade his post hop shot his dribble pull up his jump shot is a little bit slow it's not really usable you want to have a fast jump shot but his releases are nice if you want to put it on a jump shot base dirk is one of my favorite players of all time and i love how his animations look so dirk like i mean if you see somebody do a hop jumper off one leg you immediately think of dirk nowinski when you see his post fade you immediately think everything is just off one leg you see i'm even a little bit tired right there if you can learn the timing while well, tired though it's still green no matter what check this out too man sharpshooting takeover activated i do the dirk nowinski dribble pull up from limitless and green the shot that is a pretty crazy shot i mean you'll see people do trey young fades from limitless but nobody nobody in this game is using the dirk nowinski dribble pull up to pull up from that deep i got a few more gameplays you see he's going to the pay i am a center so of course they're going to be a little hesitant of me to take the shot. I use that to my advantage because I wanted to shoot as much as possible right here. Ended up turning on the shot meter. I do like to use pro stick only for the meter sometimes. Not because I need to see the meter, but I do like watching it fill up right here. Again, another Dirk dribble pull up. He's giving me the mid-range space. People do not know how to guard the mid-range. They can guard the three. They can guard the rim run. A little bit of a crossover. Bop, bop. He's, you know, I don't know what he's doing right there, actually. Maybe he just has his thumb pointing down on the joystick. He looked away. He ended up being in the paint. But either way, I will take my three-pointer trying to show this off against some more space. Dancing right here. I do love when the 1v1 event comes to town because I just tried a whole bunch of animations, see if they're actually good, see if they're usable. And you guys would not believe how many good, usable animations there are in this game that you just never see people have on. Now, right there, I end up hitting it white. That, I would say, is a rarity, but ever since the patch, there has been more whites going in. So maybe it's not as rare. Maybe you can expect that like once every couple games. A white right there as well. I mean, that is a dunk. White dunks have been going in. Not a necessary dunk meter right there, but hey, either way, if you guys are struggling ever to shoot on AIs as well, just one big step back will do the trick now he is getting slight contest it's open not wide open that speeds up your jump shot slightly but if you can kind of predict it then it will be green the problem i have is when i'm thinking it's going to be an open instead of a wide open i hold longer on my jump shot and it ends up saying wide open anyway i suppose that's just a skill issue though you guys see nine for nine 22 points 100 percent from the field 100 percent from three jason tatum right here going in for the layup do not have it upgraded yet but it does not matter because if you can get an open layup it can go in a lot of the time 
right here, trying to create a little bit of space, stepping it back, going for the three. He's not about to let me just take layups on his head, but he was not expecting the three. Going for the Dirk hop jumper right here. He's kind of flexing. He might be thinking this might be a tougher game than he was realizing. Hey man, it's matchmaking. If you are the unlucky person that ends up matching up against me when I'm trying out Dirk animations, I do not know what to tell you. A little moving crossover into the step back right here. I'm a little bit tired. It's a little bit slow, but still, it's wide open. Maybe he's got a jump at that. He probably wanted to be able to get the rebound, not put himself out of position for the jump. Sharp shooting takeover, so you guys already know. I missed the three. Now, that is a tough, tough, tough miss. That is something that I feel like I should never miss, ever. You know, regardless, though, I missed it. Got to play a little bit of defense. I pretty much have no defense upgraded on this build quite yet. I wanted to start off with having all my offense, so you see he's able to time that. Now, luckily, I am able to get a stop. I don't need to really show you guys the struggling he was doing on offense. Little dirt dribble pull up right here. You guys are here to see my offense. And see it, you shall see again right here. This is back-to-back -back games, and I hit back-to-back -back whites. Like I said, you know, Space Creator Hall of Fame might be just giving such a big boost. The whites can go in. I mean, it is what it is, but right here, man, it is what it is from 316 to 2. And as you can see, not a whole lot that he can do. He tries to play up a little bit. I'm trying to go for the rim run. I'm going to hit him with a nice little Kobe post top right here. It's a tough animation to guard if you cannot jump the direction that they are going to post hop. And right here, man, 18 to 2. I want to end it off with a 3. Moving crossover, trying to step it back to the 3-point line. Unfortunately, wear myself out a little bit. Handles for days on bronze. Does not go such a far away on such a big build. Go into the paint. Check this out. Just a little close shot match. Got to use my size. They did catch interior defense. But, you know, if you can hit somebody to drop step, if you can get them kind of shuffled out of the way, it still works. And to end the game, of course, the Dirk Hop Jumper, man. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. This is Sonic. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.